Hey everybody, hey guys. So, I thought I'd do a video to kind of keep you uh, informed of what's going on, what's going on with me. With me, not really much. Nothing's really been uh, happening. Mm. Mm. This is, I shouldn't have been drinking from this mug. I, I'm not superstitious, but you know, who knows. Uh, ooh, starting off on a rough joke. Anyways, most of you people already know that I have cancer. And if you're watching this for the first time and are learning that I have cancer, you probably don't know me because somebody's either told you or you know me. So thank you for reaching out and thanks for all the, the love and support and going on um, social media and Facebook and Caring Bridge and GoFundMe, which has been fantastic. I, I really appreciate how, how generous everybody has been. Uh, uh, the people that haven't been generous, uh, I can't, okay, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, here's what's going on. We, we thought it was lung cancer, and by we, I, I thought it was because my, my lungs didn't work. And now they're kind of coming to the conclusion that it's probably my pancreas or my gallbladder or both. And you can lose your gallbladder. Like they can take it, aw take it away, remove it. That's what I was looking for. Uh, pancreas, I don't believe they can do that. Finding out a lot more. I just had scans done and uh, today, and I don't know, I'm leaving in about half an hour to go get a chest port. So uh, it's a lot easier for me to get chemotherapy, which is, been going better than I expected. Chemo's rough and you have pain, but um, it's uh, it, hopefully it's helping. As soon as I know, you'll know. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. But um, sometimes I don't have the answers, which can be incredibly frustrating for for you as well as me. I want me to feel better too. Uh, I think the biggest thing that I've learned throughout this whole thing is that I'm learning how to be uh, still and be uh, more still than in the moment. I'm, I'm definitely in the moment, but being still is is pretty fantastic. Not feeling like I have to do something every moment. And I think as creatives, we uh, we always feel like we're we're not being uh, we're lazy or we're being unproductive if we're not doing something. So we we fill that time with bullshit. So I filled it with, you know, keeping a clean house or, you know, fiddling around in, in the garage and like working on projects and those are all fine and good, but it's okay to just kind of be. And uh, that's been a, a huge help. Reconnecting with people and hopefully um, connecting with people that I may not have talked to for a long time because we either had a falling out or, um, we lost touch, and if there was a falling out, then um, I forgive you, and uh, hopefully it, it comes back to me as well. And lastly, uh, what was I going to say? I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've just been so appreciative of everybody that's uh, reached out, so thank you. I love you, and if you know me, that those, uh, I say those words a lot because it's just better to say, tell people that you love them than to not.